Welcome to Gray Web Lab. We are asked to solve this problem. We have two semicircles that are mutually tangent to each other. And from this tangent point between the two semicircles, the distance to the bottom of this or to the diameter of this green semicircle is 4 units. And from that vertical distance to the uh, rightmost part of this semicircle, we have a distance of 2 units. And above is a blue semicircle. And we are required to find the area of the blue semicircle. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is I want you to see the bigger picture. So the bigger picture is we can actually draw a line from the center of the bigger semicircle to the tangent point and towards the center of this green semicircle. And this is a straight line because as you can see, they are mutually tangent to this point. So as you can see, we can see a big right triangle. This big right triangle. So it is best that we find the radius of this of this larger larger semicircle later so but before that we can see that if we draw a line from this point of tangency to the line we can actually see that this right triangle form here is actually similar with this small triangle Okay, since we have a this line, this radius of the two combined radius, and we draw these two horizontal lines, this line and this line. So we have a common angle. This angle, since they have the same inclination with this line this line so this angle also are the same so if this is a then this is a then these two triangles are actually similar and similar of course to the largest right triangle we have drawn earlier okay so first is we attack this problem by getting dimensions of this green semicircle the radius of this green semicircle and then if we get the radius of this green semicircle then we can actually get this radius of this uh, blue semicircle later by using the similarity of these two triangles this this triangle and this the three triangle that's why i have divided this and drawn a horizontal line from this point of tangency towards the right so okay so first is we focus on getting the dimensions of this uh, radius of the green semicircle so it is unknown to us what is the radius of this so radius of this green so we are going to label this as r and since we are given a distance here two units from this end point or edge of the semicircle and the total is r that and that this distance will be r minus two okay and the other leg that the right triangle which is formed is four so as you can see the hypotenuse is r so that will be R square. 
So hypotenuse square. So one leg is okay. So let's start with the bottom. So r minus two square plus four square for the vertical leg. So four square. So we have simplifying. We have r square is equal to r square minus four r plus four plus sixteen. Okay, so we cancel this r square and we put this negative r, negative 4r to the left hand side. So we have 4r is equal to 4 plus 16, which is 20. So we have 20. So we have 4r is equal to 20, and by dividing by 4 both sides, we have r is equal to 5 and r minus 2 is equal to uh, 3 but we are actually only after this 5 unit reduce okay so earlier we said that this triangle is similar this triangle is similar to this because they are derived from this big largest right triangle because this of this angle so they are similar angle and they are of course similar because of this so and also because of this and we have three angles that are congruent inside of these three triangles or or this i mean in this sets of triangles these are congruent and this is 90 and this okay so i want you to focus on this length this length is actually corresponding to this length the hypotenuse of this and this next is we focus on this four unit length this one is corresponding to this length okay Okay, so I want you to focus on this length. This length actually corresponds to the 5 unit length of the, the hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle, the smaller right triangle because it is opposite the 90 degree angle. So we call this bigger radius of the bigger semicircle, the blue semicircle as R, bigger R. And next is we get this corresponding length of this for the four unit. So this will be the bigger radius minus this this four unit because we need to project this to get this length. So this is four. So this length is actually r minus four. Okay. Okay, so now we got two co corresponding pairs of these two right triangles. So it is now easy to make an equation to find the radius. So we can say that mm -hmm, R over R minus 4. That is the hypotenuse over this the opposite side this angle so for in so for the corresponding lengths for r we have 5 and for r minus 4 it is 4 so by cross multiplying we have 4r is equal to 5 times r minus 4 so we have 4r is equal to 5r minus 20. So if we put this negative 20 to the left hand side, we have 20 is equal to 5r minus 4r. If we put this 4r to the right, so we have this becomes r is equal to 20. So r 
is equal to 20 units and now for the final step since we are already do we already have the value of the radius of the blue semicircle so the area is simply area is equal to pi over 2 because this is a semicircle then we need to get the R square so area is equal to pi over 2 times R is equal to actually 20 square so this becomes 400 so 400 divided by 2 is actually 200 so the area for this semicircle, the blue semicircle is 200 pi square units and that is our answer so our answer is 200 pi square units so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye